What is the price on your safety in your life? So if you own a motorhome, you may not think that this could ever happen to you. A customer came into our store. He was interested in finding out what our run flat systems were available. and wasn't happy with what we had to offer. It's a no-brainer for us, and I it's think it's time to do it. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. I'm here with Chuck Lasley. You got, got that it. right? You got it. From NIRVC. We're in Manassas, Virginia, and we are here to talk about a very important topic, and it's something that we're going to be having done to Nelly. We think it's really important. This has changed a lot of people's lives for the worse if they don't do it, but for the better if they do do it. You're the expert on this. I'm going to have to ask you a bunch of questions. Please, let's have them. So what we're going to be having installed is RetroBand. If you're not familiar with RetroBand, I'm going to give the very simple definition. It is a, basically a run flat, but you are much more technically knowledgeable about this. Yeah. And we want to share this with our viewers, our subscribers, because it's not something I really knew about until somewhat recently, but it's really important because believe it or not, tire blowouts happen more often than you think. And on motorhomes, it can have some very detrimental effects. So just talk about what RetroBand is and why it's so important to motor homeowners. Well, I think that retro band as Izzy said is a it's a run flat system we at NRVC are very concerned about safety and so a run flat system of this caliber it's the only run flat system that was manufactured specifically for an RV so it's been tested several times with the same results every time it uh, was manufactured originally for the uh, military biggest military vehicle that has a, a tire rated at about 8,500 pounds so we re-engineered that to withstand something at 30,000 pounds so these uh, retro bands are rated at 30,000 pounds the rim of a uh, wheel is rated at 10,500 pounds, so your retro band is actually rated for 30,000 pounds to withstand that sudden drop in weight that a catastrophic blowout can have. And so that's that's the big deal when it comes to a run flat system. So if you own a motor home, you, hopefully you take good care of your tires, you maintain the air pressure, you run a TPMS, and you, you may not think that this could ever happen to you. And, and we thought that also, but then you start seeing pictures and you start reading stories and having a blowout in a motor home is a little bit different than your passenger car. It's, it's There's a lot more going on. These things are not made out of steel per se. This is just, just fiberglass and they don't do well in crashes. So it's really important. Like what, what can happen when one of these things crashes? Like what have you seen as far as crashes with these things? Two things we're really trying to prevent with a run flat system. One is loss of control. Mm -hmm. What can happen when you have a tire that blows is, is you panic and you don't know what to do. And even when you've been trained, you don't have a blowout every day. You're not being trained on blowouts constantly, exactly. right? Exactly, so what happens is when you have a run flat system like RetroBand where you have kind of a spare tire within that tire, it just drops right on the RetroBand. So it's it's almost like you're just running right on a spare tire. So you don't lose control of the coach. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is that you're not doing damage to both the rim as well as the rest of the fiberglass that a shredded tire might do. Now, NRVC does offer bodywork. <laughs> they do. We've yeah. done bodywork on Nelly, <laughs> very small stuff. I will tell you something. If you own a motorhome, there is nothing cheap about it, nothing. <laughs> every time you go into a body shop, every time you go in for service, we, we get a minimum $1,000. That, that's like the entry fee, $1,000, and it just goes up from there, and that's with small damage. I couldn't imagine this whole thing being ripped off. Yeah what it would cost, not only what it would cost to time you're down, but more importantly, the potential injury or maybe life-ending catastrophic accidents that happen, and they do happen. So we're gonna talk a little bit more what RetroBand is as far as the installation and what it does, and, and really, you know, the cost, how much time it takes. It's really not a complicated system once no. you start seeing being installed. So RetroBand started a couple years back when a customer came into our store, Rob Craig, the innovator behind RetroBand. Band. He came in and bought a cornerstone and he was interested in finding out what our run flat systems were available at the time and wasn't happy with what we had to offer. And so he 
decided to tell us about his background, which was engineering, and that he owned the largest ballistics company in Australia, and that he was going to help us uh, come up with a better run-flat system. After that, he and Brett Davis, which is where the name Retroband comes from, the R-E-T-T -T of Brett and the R-O-B of Rob, Retroband, was born, and they decided to take a product that Rob had already engineered for the military and re-engineer it so that it would withstand the weight of an RV and that's how Retroband was born. So Retroband is exclusive to NIRVC. It was developed for you guys. That's right. And it's different than other safety devices out there. And we kind of have a stripped wheel here with the Retroband. I want you to explain to our viewers yeah. what Retroband actually looks like inside your wheel. What's unusual about it is that it sits up above the rim about four inches. So when you do have that catastrophic blowout, instead of the the rig falling on the rim itself, it actually falls on the retroband. So again, this has been rated at 30,000 pounds versus the rim that has been rated at 10,500 pounds. So the idea is for you to be able to get safely off the side of the road. So can you drive on this? You can, but remember, you've got a tire that's shredding. Correct. You know, so you can maybe get a little bit very slowly, but the idea really is to try to get off to the side of so just so you don't lose control and you can safely get off the side of the road. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but I kind of want you to see, maybe I guess it better. So you actually are riding on the... On the retroband. On the retroband, which is what you want. Exactly. Now, how is this different than other safety devices that are on the market? So other safety devices on the market might just try to bridge the valley that's on here. So if we take this off, they might try to just bridge the valley that you can kind of see right here. And the idea there is to try to keep the tire from coming off of the Got rim, it. which is technology that's still important. And that's part of it, because you do, that's, that's how we're trying to keep the the tire on the rim to prevent the damage, but that's part. That's only part of it. We're, we're really trying to do those two things, keep control of the vehicle and try to minimize the damage to the rig. So about how long does it take to install if you're doing on the, the front two tires? Yeah, so we just do the retrobands on the steer tires. Mm -hmm. Takes two hours from start to finish and we will install both and we will spin balance. That's okay. part of it. So installation and spin balancing is part of that installation. So we're actually have Corey from NIRVC. He is going to, to do it in real time. Maybe we'll speed some of it up. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Lasley is going to narrate exactly what he's doing. Yeah. All right. So right now, Corey's already pre-threaded the retroband on one side. He's going to thread it inside. He's already put the bead on one half of the tire. He's using this tire breakdown machine, just leveling it up right now. So now he's going to position the tire and the retroband inside the tire so that it can line the other side of the gearbox up. So now he's just positioning the gearbox on the top that's already been threaded. And then he'll open up a space at the bottom so that he can line up the other gearbox. So one of the nice things that you folks have done is you brought us brand new tires. Because one of the things that we're real careful with is the age of the tires. The age of the tires are important because that bead on a tire, which is this portion of the tire, can become really sensitive. And so he's used a lot of lubrication around that bead because the last thing that you want to have happen is that bead to tear during installation or removal. And so he's lubed that up quite a lot because you have to flex that bead a lot when you're doing the installation. So our parameters for putting Retroband in, in to begin with is zero to three years we usually don't have a problem with installation. From three to four years, we're gonna do a very careful uh, inspection of the tire to make sure that there's not any weird wear of it, that everything looks good. But from four years on, we're gonna respectfully decline that installation until you get new steer tires, and then we'll, we'd be happy to put those on. We just don't wanna take any chances of tearing that bead. Once a bead is torn, the tire really is not able to be reinstalled. It's really compromised at that point. So right now he's putting an anti-seize, is going on those rods that are part of the gearbox. So he is right now, he's going to put both sides and he's gonna tighten that gearbox because remember you're bringing two halves of a circle together inside this tire. The gearbox right here, so you've got two straight rods on this gearbox. So he's bringing those together. What we don't wanna do is bring 
bring undue stress on the rods. So he's going to start bringing those uh, two halves of the retro band together, which are two semicircles essentially, and he'll start bringing them together. And then pretty soon what you'll see him do is go back and forth so that he brings a little bit together and a little bit together. And you'll also notice that he's using hand tools and he's not using any power tools to make sure that he gets a nice even fit of the retro band so that he's getting an equal snug on either side of the retro band. So right now what Corey's doing is he's um, now lubricating that and he's going to see the last edge of that bead. The retro band is completely on the rim now and he's going to just make sure that everything is lubricated properly to make sure that that bead is nice and tight. Right now they're putting the tire in this special cage right there. That's mainly for safety purposes in case something happens to the tire while they're inflating it. That way nobody gets injured. So that's what they're going to do right now is they're going to fill it up with air. Make sure that the beads are safely sat on the rim. I'm going to fill it to the right amount. Hopefully Izzy has his coach four corner weighed so we know exactly what the tire pressure should be. All right, so here we are. We're kind of in the final stages of installation of the retro band and Corey is balancing, he's spin balancing this tire so that it's ready for installation back on the coach. And we're figuring out just how much weight that this tire needs to have placed on it. Every installation that we do comes with a spin balance. It's just part of the installation process for retro band. So here we're just gonna put back we've uh, spin balanced the tire different people will do different things a lot of times we'll get these and customers will have aftermarket products in there they'll put those beads what's the other type of balancing product that they'll use on there well, centromatics they centromatics they're, centromatics. Not gonna, they're not going to balance you out centromatics is they're more designed to just take the vibration out. They don't have enough weight in them to fully balance the wheel. And we can use all of those when we're putting retro bands in. The, none of those interfere with the actual installation or operation of retro bands. So here we're just putting them right back on and in them up. You'll notice that the stickers for retro band are, have been placed on the rim there so that commercial tire installation guy will be able to identify that there is a run flat system on the tire. So that brings us to a great point if you're actually on the side of the road and you've had a flat tire and a commercial installer comes out to change your tire the process there every person that gets a retro band installation is going to be given a set of instructions that'll tell a commercial installer how to remove a set of retro bands and that's actually all we want them to do is to remove the retro bands from the tire. In our experience, once you tell them that all they have to do is remove it, there are no special tools required. Here's what that looks like, actually. That's the set of instructions. So at the bottom of each one of these uninstallation guides is a QR code. And there's a three minute video there to help a commercial installer to show them exactly how to take a retro band out. And then that way, the customer can put that right in there belly of their coach, bring that back to any NIRVC location, and we would put a brand new retro band on their tire. There is a lifetime warranty that comes with those retro bands. We would put a brand new one on and get our customers back on the road so they can enjoy their lifestyle. We are super excited to have this on our motorhome. We hope to have to never use it. Although I told MJ, I'm like, what a testimonial to retro band. We had a blowout, right? Can yes. you imagine that? We caught it on film, but we don't want that to happen. So <laughs> no. Thank you for that explanation. Now, if somebody's interested in retro band, now that they understand more about what it actually is and what it does, one, how do they get in touch with you like what is the process and number two everybody's gonna know what the cost is yeah so two ways you can either go to the website retroband.com or you can contact any of the national indoor rv centers and irvc.com is another website that you can go to for all the phone numbers local stores we have stores now in manassas virginia that's where we are right now mm -hmm. we also have stores in atlanta uh i almost said atlanta virginia <laughs> it's atlanta uh georgia uh, nashville tennessee dallas texas las vegas Nevada. Nevada, and then Arizona, uh, Phoenix, Arizona area. So we've got locations all over the country. And we also have an events team at all of the major RV shows as well. So, so you can have it done at a show if you we want. We can have it done at a show. That's exactly. pretty awesome. Now, 
Regarding the cost, yeah. something like this, what is it going to go for? Yeah, so so it depends on the tire size. So it can be anywhere from thirty six ninety five, and that's thirty six, so three thousand six hundred ninety five dollars. I have a lot of people that are like three. Tell me thirty six. Yeah, exactly right? right. All the way up to forty nine ninety five, depending on that tire. Now size. listen, that that sounds like a lot of money, but they're going on. A base star now is well over two hundred thousand dollars. You're putting this on a lot of diesel pushes. There are half a million dollars and approaching a million dollars. That's right. that's right. And what is the price on your safety in your life? That's what that, you have to ask that's, yourself. That's what you have to ask. And if you're mm -hmm. buying it on a new motor home, you could probably roll that right into finance. You can do that. And like what we're doing is that we had to replace our tires anyway. Us buying Toyo tires, we're able to save versus buying the Michelins, and that that right there can offset most of the cost of something like this. It's a no-brainer for us. And and I it's think the best once, time to do it. I think once you learn what really it entails and, and what really you're protecting, it becomes like almost a necessary thing. So yeah. to contact you guys, what's the best yeah. way? So really, again, that, that retroband.com is a great video. You can see our latest mm -hmm. test. Um, our president of our company actually did the latest round of testing where you can see an explosive that was actually sewn into the tire. You can see the tire blown at 70 miles per hour. So you can see it in action. You can see how well he kept control of the tire. Mm -hmm. You can see that there was minimal damage uh, to the coach itself. It's a great explanation to the whole process. Well, we hope everybody that this brought some uh, clarity to what Retroban is, and, and we will be talking about it as we're going down the road and we're out in our travels. We do really appreciate NRVC working with us on this. It's a great product. We appreciate you explaining it. And for myself, MJ, and Chuck, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll yeah. see you on the road.